The Cleary Act is a consumer protection law requiring colleges and universities to publish annual crime statistics and campus safety and security information. It was named for Jean Cleary, who was tragically murdered on the campus of Lehigh University in 1986. This led her parents to advocate for campus safety and greater transparency from college and university administration regarding the level of risk on their campuses. As a Campus Security Authority, or CSA, you're required to report crimes to the Cleary Act Compliance Coordinator within the UCI Police Department so that the university can develop a comprehensive annual report of crime on campus and alert the campus as necessary. These can include direct reports from a victim, witness, third party, or even the perpetrator, but not incidents you merely overhear or learn about indirectly. The Clery Act covers crimes committed on campus, on public property within or adjacent to campus, or a non-campus property owned or controlled by UC Irvine. As a general rule, CSA should also report crimes that occur at a UCI-affiliated or sponsored event, such as study abroad trips, events off campus, or club retreats. Specific crimes that should be reported under the Clery Act include murder and non-negligent manslaughter, manslaughter by negligence, sexual assault including the crimes of rape, fondling, incest, and statutory rape, robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, motor vehicle theft, arson, hate crimes, domestic violence, dating violence, and stalking, as well as arrests and disciplinary referrals for weapon, drug, and liquor law violations. Regardless of the nature of the crime, you should report any and all crimes disclosed to you. The Clery Act Compliance Coordinator will determine whether it is covered under the Clery Act. When someone tells you about a crime, let them know immediately about your responsibility as a CSA and that you will be reporting under the Clery Act. Listen carefully and supportively, but be aware of the limitations of your role. Do not express judgment and do not promise a specific outcome. If the person who has reported to you is also a victim of a crime, help them connect with resources for counseling, support, and education. You can find additional information about available resources in a later video in this series. Encourage, but do not force the reporting person to file a report with the police department then let the UCI Police Department do their job. Do not investigate the incident yourself. There is no need to interview anyone else who may be involved in the incident. Report only the facts that are reported to you. Do not try to approach or apprehend the alleged perpetrator. Crime should be reported immediately. To do so, you can complete a CSA report form, which you can find at police.uci.edu under the Clery Act section. The form includes a series of short questions and a space to provide a description of exactly what was reported to you. Focus on the where, when, and what of the crime. Do not include the victim's information unless given permission. Once you've completed the form, submit it to the Clery Act Compliance Coordinator, who will process the information to put together a comprehensive picture of crime on campus. If the crime reported to you is a sex offense, including dating and domestic violence, sexual assault, or stalking, you most likely also have a responsibility to report under Title IX. For more information about the Title IX reporting process, please watch the second video in this series. Thank you for serving as a campus security authority. Know that in reporting in a timely and accurate manner, you are helping members of the UCI community stay alert and aware and keeping our campus safe and secure.